Giving students effective feedback is critical for both their learning progress and knowledge growth. This can and should be done throughout your daily lessons as a class. If you're already using ClassPoint interactive questions throughout your presentation, you're already receiving student feedback to check on their needs and their understanding. However, you can also use these student responses to provide feedback back to your students. I'm Sarah from Inkno, and today I'm gonna to walk you guys through five different tips on how to provide your students feedback when you're using ClassPoint. To get started providing feedback to your whole entire class, I have a word cloud question type as an example here. So let's say my question has just been closed and I can now review all of my student responses. I can provide feedback verbally to them, highlighting the top answers, and then also diving deeper into some of the more unique answers. Students can then go ahead and self-assess whether or not they've grasped the concept, at the same time learning from their peers. One great feature that ClassPoint has is the ability to hide student names on their responses. So this helps to protect students' progress and their confidence. So back when you're setting up your question in PowerPoint edit mode, just select to hide those participant names. And then when you begin receiving your responses, you'll be able to see that no names are revealed. This provides you with the opportunity to give students feedback based on a mistake that the whole entire class can benefit from. If names are not hidden, you don't want to give specific feedback on one student's response if they made a mistake. This kind of negative feedback should be done privately, which we cover how in tip number five. But first, tip number three. So when you guys are reviewing your responses, you can use this heart icon to favorite and filter. So you can do this for exceptional responses. That way you can provide feedback on why they are so well done, or you can heart and toggle any incorrect answers and provide feedback on what pieces are missing or go over anything that was misunderstood. That way you can help the whole entire class learn. Continue providing feedback and teaching through feedback by annotating on an individual response. To do that, you can insert any of these responses as a slide. You can select an interesting response to spark a discussion, or you could select an exceptional response to begin continuing the conversation and explaining the concept. Or you can go ahead and insert an incorrect response. That way you can go ahead and re-explain the concept. So once that's done, I can use ClassPoint's annotation features to begin marking up this response. Make sure you're leaving effective feedback, that way students can continue to learn. One sneaky feature that ClassPoint has is the ability to share your PowerPoint file, annotations and all, as a PDF with your joined audience. Just click the share PDF icon to do so. This last tip helps to provide students with timely feedback, like during a unit rather than after, which can be more impactful and allows them to make adjustments before submitting a paper or taking that test. So you can use ClassPoint student responses as a feedback medium. If you notice based on their responses that a student is falling behind, you can pull them aside during work time. Or you can go ahead and save a response and then provide them feedback and share it with them via LMS or email. Make sure when you are providing this feedback, you provide some action steps for them to follow. This way they can go ahead and make those adjustments. I also recommend the continue start stop feedback method if you can. If done correctly, this feedback you've given students can help encourage and motivate them to take an active role in their education. Hopefully this video helped you provide students feedback a little bit quicker and easier in your PowerPoint presentations. Don't forget to leave us a comment below if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to the ClassPoint channel.